everybody has a moment in which they understand when they're supposed to do their thing. My job is to organize that so that they're given those moments. Most, my experience, I would say almost every crew member gets frustrated and mad at the ADs and they think the ADs are against them because they're not giving them a chance to do their jobs. Everybody just wants to do their job. Everybody wants to do it and they want to do it really well. And if you give them the opportunity to work, then ultimately all that works for me. Anticipation and remaining calm and solving problems. Those are my name, those are my biggest things I have to do. I have to anticipate what may happen. I have to anticipate sometimes months in advance, sometimes weeks in advance, sometimes <coughs> seconds in advance. I cannot prepare for the chaos if I don't have some semblance of what you want to do. If they have any idea of what they want to do, then I can prepare for anything. I'm, I will have all the elements there to play with. We save time on the day by keeping the elements available, keeping the departments uh, ready to work. We want to come in, we want to rehearse with light and shoot. We don't want to come in and try to figure out what we're doing. What's the scene about? What are all these things happening? What, uh, you know, where's the sun going down? What is all this doing? Man, you can solve all those problems for no cost just by working hard. All those, all those answers can be done by you, the director, the filmmaker, everybody who cares about what the film is can solve those problems before you get out there. You know, you actually have to uh, spend a lot of time in prep trying to basically think of good questions, really important questions that, you know, get to the essence of the film, get to the essence of how this scene that may or may not be shootable in that location or whatever, how can we create the same thing in a different place? <laughs> All these things have to always come to mind. In that vein, everybody, I, it doesn't necessarily matter to me who does what. We're all on the same team, we're trying to do it. So if the prop guy is standing there, a prop assistant is standing in there and we're ready to shoot, then okay, cue the actor. I don't care. I build up credit to some degree. So when it sometimes comes in, sun's going down, they have to trust me when I say, we're not going to see that, get out of there. I had lots of arguments with directors and special effects guys about you know things that I thought were dangerous. I've had discussions with producers about special effects guys I've said we're not hiring because I'm not working on the show with them. And it's it's a serious thing to do, but we all want to see the action. We want to see the explosions, we want to see the crashes, we want to see the falls. And it is all perfectly doable. And nowadays it's more easily doable than ever before. But there's a, I mean, you know, there's a way to do it without getting anybody hurt. And there's a way to do it to make, it's all, it, it's not reality, it's a perception of reality. Isn't that world working on here? I don't actually have to throw that horse off the cliff, you know. Directors come up through the business, and they don't ever work with anybody else. Myself, the rest of the crew, we work with a lot of directors. So we, you know, at this point in my career, I've seen a lot of people do it. I know I've been around people who can, and I've been around people who can. And I think that ultimately, the best thing you can do is surround yourself with a good cameraman, a good production designer, and a good team, and let them do their thing. And you concentrate on the story and the cast. And don't worry about where the backlight is. Don't worry about what lens they're putting on the camera. Don't worry about anything else. If it's your first time to direct, you start you concentrate on telling a story. That's what you need to concentrate on. You don't need to think about anything else. That's what all those people are there for. Wherever it comes from, as long as you're talking about the movie, you can walk away friends at the end of the day. And you can walk away uh, knowing that I have respect for you and they have respect for me because we're fighting for the movie. We're not fighting for myself. I'm not fighting because I want to do that shot. I could care less about that shot. I'm fighting because you want that shot, and I'm trying to get it for you. But the thing is, you're going to get that, but you have to do these two things first in order to get that at the time that you want it. So those are, those discussions are always central to, you know, making a quality product. Realize what, where your limitations are and rely on your department heads. You have to rely on all the department heads. I mean, I think that's one of the great things about this industry is that it's such a collaborative craft. Everybody has, the director has a final say, and I think the delineation of power works in that way because somebody has to say yes or no, ultimately, or else we don't just sit around and talk about it all day.